Hey there guys, welcome back to the channel. Thanks so much for watching today. And we are in Salt Lake City, Utah for Salt Lake Fan X 2023. Such an awesome event. One of the bigger conventions that happens throughout the year, right below that New York Comic Con and you know San Diego Comic Con, LA Comic Con type of level. But this is an absolutely huge event that's been happening every year for the past 10 years. And I'm so glad that I finally got a chance to come to this thing because it is absolutely insane. From the amount of celebrities that are there to the amount of cool panels, to all the cool different vendors, and of course, being able to hunt for different Funko Pops. There are so many different Funko vendors all throughout the floor. I saw a ton of amazing figures on my first day. And I do plan on trying to go back on all of the other days to try to see if I could find even more crazy figures. And I might even do a video where I try to find the most expensive figure at the entire event. And I did see a couple that were probably pretty high up, but it would be interesting to see which figure is the most expensive. But for this video, what we're actually gonna be doing is cracking open some Funko Pops that I picked up from Pop City, Utah. Pop City, Utah is a store that's local here over in Sandy, Utah. It would be a place that I would absolutely love to try to go to their actual store. Unfortunately, I'm not gonna be here long enough to actually be able to do that. So maybe I'll be able to come back and explore and visit their actual flagship store. But they did come over to Fan X and they brought a truckload of Funko Pops and they had a lot of really amazing grails. But on top of that, they actually had some Funko Pop mystery boxes that they were selling at the booth. Those mystery boxes were just $20 each like and they were guaranteed value of $20, but they had the chance for grails, value $20, exclusive but for grails, autographs, exclusive to I decided to go ahead and pick up a couple mystery boxes and crack them over to see if we can get anything good. Now, I believe it was supposed to be just one figure in each box. I mean, the size of the boxes are just like this so it's probably just the size of one but you do have pop city utah their little like kind of sticker i guess on the front or logo definitely pretty cool packaging there and we did like i said pick up two of these now they did allow me to go ahead and try to pick which ones i wanted they let me pick which shelf and this one was kind of sitting on the table in front of me and it felt a lot heavier so i decided to go with this one but i do have one that's a little bit lighter but you never know. Sometimes the heavier ones are the big hitters, especially if they're in hard stacks. But sometimes these heavier ones could just be something like an art series, which is really, really disappointing. But hopefully we don't get any art series pops. But we do have these two mystery boxes that we do need to crack open and see how much over the value of $20 that we are able to get. And could we potentially walk away with any grails. And now before we get into the rest of the video, if you guys are new to the channel here and you do enjoy Funko content along with kind of going on different adventures, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Also leave a like on this video as well if you do enjoy. It does make a massive difference. And if you never want to miss a video, make sure you hit that notification bell so that way you're notified whenever we have new videos drop. And you want to make sure you're following us because we're going to have tons of content dropping all throughout the weekend and into the beginning of early next week with all of the stuff from Fan X. And since we have the two figures here, this is the heavier one on the left, so I'm gonna save that for last. I'm gonna go and open up this one right here and see if we can grab anything good. Again, we're just looking for something over $20 of value, but I kinda want something that I would wanna add to my collection uh, because if I just get something that I need to just throw to a pile, I'm not gonna like that. Uh, and I think it might be a little bit harder to try to get rid of stuff here at the convention. So I'm hoping I get something really good that I actually want to keep. It looks like I'm trying to feel the pop if it has a protector or not. I actually don't think it has a protector, but I think I felt something fall out of the box. It might have been a sticker or something. Uh, we'll check that at the end. But I have a pop in my hands. Let's see. Is it anything good? I feel a sticker, but it might be a shared exclusive sticker, which could be good. could be bad. Let's see, what figure is it? It is, oh, it's actually a specialty series. This is the brand new Dancing Pennywise specialty series pop. Unfortunately, it's not the Chase. That would have made it a whole lot more worth it, but we ended up picking up the specialty series Pennywise. Still a really cool pop. I've seen this at a number of different stores, and I think it's definitely a very interesting figure. Too bad. It is not the chase because that would have been huge. And if you want to see what the figure looks like, there it is. Again, just a really cool Pennywise pop where he's dancing. He has all the flames around him. 
some great detail with his face and the cracking on his face and everything. And if you were wondering what actually fell out of the box, it was actually some advertisements for their upcoming What's Poppin' event, which is a Funko sales event, like kind of buy, sell, and trade of type of event. Looks like it's happening in April of 2024. So if you're in the Utah area and you're interested, make sure you go check it out. Most importantly, it's free admission. And they also gave us this cool little sticker that says what's popping on it. And now let's get into the other figure that was a little bit more heavier. You can kind of feel it jumping around there. So hopefully that means maybe it's in a stack, maybe not, maybe it's in a stack, but at least it's a heavier type of figure that would require it kind of making that noise. Uh, so let's see what we have in this second box and oh it actually feels like there's bubble wrap in here oh wonder what that means and there's the flyers um oh i think i actually feel some sodas yeah there's some bubble wrap in here i think i feel soda so there's two funko sodas in here i wonder if they're like any exclusive funko sodas um i don't feel a sticker, at least I can't feel a sticker, at least on the first one. But let's see, this first Funko Soda is Sally. So this is Sally from Nightmare Before Christmas. This is the unlimited version, the non-numbered version. So I was not planning on picking this up. Maybe I'll get a chase and maybe it'll end up being worth it. I think it's a nice looking figure there you can see. The chase is kind of like the rock work version of her where she's like all like in stone. Uh, but you know, not one I would have wanted to get. It kind of felt a little bit heavier because I thought it was a heavier pop. But it turns out it was rolling around because it was two sodas. Now the second soda that we have is Jack Skellington. It goes with Sally. So they are both together right here. But of course we'll go and crack them open because if we do end up getting chases, it would absolutely be worth it. So let's go ahead and crack open Sally first. Again, both of these have no numbers on them. So it's probably much harder to actually get a chase. I mean, this store probably had a some cases of it. So it would be more likely we would get a chase from Pop City, Utah versus, you know, just buying it off of, you know, at Hot Topic or something like that, where there's just singles lying around around the Funko shop even. So. Hopefully that means that we could have some luck. We did have some really good luck at the Funko Warehouse sale with some Funko sodas. So hopefully we can continue that right now with this Sally soda. And I'm not quite sure how it feels, if it feels any different, but I do have the figure in my hand. Let's see, is it the chase? Does it look like a rock? It is? No, it is the common here. But still some pretty good detail on this figure. I like the stitching and her dress that she has and even the rose that she has in her hand. Definitely a really nice Funko Soda figure. And then if you did want to take a look at the Pog, it does just say Sally, no numbers there. And then you have a look of Sally here on the back. Now let's go ahead and crack open Jack Skellington and maybe see if we can pull a chase on him. You never know. You never know where the chase can come from. Give it a little bit of a shake for some good luck. I actually don't remember what the chase for this one is. Is he maybe in like a different outfit or something? Is he black light? I don't really remember. Let's see. Do we have the chase? And this one is... Oh, boom! We did get the chase! We got the chase, Jack Skellington. Okay, this is the rock like uh jack skellington look at that guys we did pull a chase let's go i don't know if pop city utah knew they were throwing a chase in the box but this absolutely made the box worth it still some pretty good detail on this because you can still see a suit and everything but definitely some pretty nice detail as far as to make it look like it's kind of marble. And if you want to take a look at the pog, it does say Stone Jack Skellington, you found the chase. But now that we opened up these mystery boxes, why don't we go ahead and get into the values and see what the actual value of these figures are. I know they're both pretty new, so I'm not sure how PPG will look, but we'll go ahead and double check that. And we'll be right back. All right, and we are back with the values and we didn't do as well as I was hoping for. 
But still, getting that chase did at least pull it back to close to being even for us. So let's go ahead and roll through the figures that we got today. And the first one is going to be the specialty series dancing Pennywise from It. This one is going to be valued at $15, which is actually below the $20 guaranteed value so i mean i'm just going to assume that maybe they packed this when it was at 20 dollar value and now it's no longer at 20 dollar value that's probably the most likely case and then our second box we had the funko sodas of dill sally and jack skellington now the first soda which was sally which ended up being the common this is currently showing a ppg as a value of 15 dollars so so far below the box however but the second one, we have Jack Skellington Chase, that stone chase. That's currently showing a value of $28, which I think is still fairly low. Uh, but grand total did bring us way above the $20 value. So we ended up making a big win on the second one. And that chase helped make up for the difference that we lost on the first box. And of course, we always want to try to hit a grill, but at the end of the day, it's always really fun opening up these mystery boxes. Well, guys, there's our look at our mystery boxes from Pop City, Utah that we picked up on day one of Fan X Salt Lake. Now, I do want to throw over you guys, what do you think about these mystery boxes we picked up from Pop City, Utah? Have you picked up any boxes from them previously? Did you maybe go to the convention and stop by their booth? And what do you think about the stuff we were able to pick up for today? Which is your favorite? I would love to hear about all of that in the comments down below. And of course, if you guys have not done so already, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Also leave a like on this video as well if you enjoyed it. And of course, you can always hit that bell to be notified whenever we have new video drop. But thank you guys so much for watching today. And as always, we'll see you again real soon.